A Māori man is angry that Auckland Airport security would not let him board a plane with a walking stick because they said it had Māori carvings and could be used as a weapon. Pitipi Winiata was gifted what's known as a tiripo when he graduated from a prestigious Māori language academy at the weekend. Mani Dumlop reports. Walking through security on Tuesday afternoon with his baby boy on his hip, Mr Winiata was catching his flight home to Wellington after a big few days away at graduation. But the 29-year-old and his son missed the flight after security guards decided his new tiripo, a carved walking stick, was a risk to other passengers. So I explained to you, oh, oh no, it's not a taiaha. Um, a taiaha is much longer, um, different shape. It's a tiripo, it's, it's a carved walking stick. And she said, no, you can't take it on. I asked her uh, if it were a, a regular walk because she knew it. Would there be an issue with it? And she said, no, it's okay to take plain walking sticks on. And I just think I remember her saying plain walking sticks, well, walking sticks because when she said that, that was the point that I realised there was a real issue here. And so I asked her if the only difference between a plain walking stick, as she knew it, and the tiripo that I was carrying was the carving. And she said, yes. It's a mini taiata. The tiripo, which features carvings of his tipuna or ancestors, was a gift from his whānau for completing one of the most exclusive and top Māori language courses, Te Panikiritanga o Te Reo Māori. Mr Winiata reluctantly checked it in his luggage and had to get on a new flight. He says his main concern was the automatic connection made between a Māori item and violence. The real issue of what was happening there, and she may or may not have been conscious that it was the message she was making was to draw a connection between Māori culture and violence. And that, for me, was the real reason that I, I was not willing to, to allow that to go unnoticed because that, that's a real damaging view for us to have. And to me, that still is the big, the big issue for me, to see a carving and to assume that it's useless for violence and a, a walk that's uncarved. That to me is the real issue and that, I think that's why I was really upset in that situation. Mr Winiata has written to airport security services and has offered recommendations of how and why to change their policies. He says it isn't an isolated event. After posting his story on social media, he has had responses from people who have had similar experiences. Māori rights lawyer Kingi Snalga says it is a racist and discriminatory policy and says he hopes they change it. Pitipi is someone who's able to handle himself and ask the right questions of why um, Tipo wasn't allowed through, but what if this was a komato or someone that maybe wasn't aware of their rights? Um, so it, it seems like an obvious example of racism. Um, the just, justification for why uh, he couldn't take it through was, was not good enough. Mr Snalga believes a mediation hui needs to take place and that the airport security need to accept they are wrong and undertake training for their staff. However, in a statement, the Civil Aviation Authority disagree. It didn't answer many of RNZ's questions, but said it had reviewed the incident in question and are comfortable that staff applied the policy correctly. For Checkpoint, Marnie Dunlop.